So Tom and me are out here today. He's just um, trying out the night vision. And we're gonna whack a few rats. Uh, we've had a few rats from here before and they've started poisoning them, poisoning them heavily. So the numbers are coming down, but there's still a few to shoot. As far as filming from this camera goes, there probably won't be a great deal to see because it's dark. So most of the film will just be recorded through the night vision, which is the uh, Night Fox 110R and the Night Fox 120R. They're both great night vision with recording capability. Allow us to see really far, it's ideal. And for the price they cost, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. For the price they cost, you can't really complain. Uh, I've got a great field of view and yeah, the gun I'm going to be using is the HG100, my favourite gun at the minute, 14 shot mag, it's the carbine thumbhole, laser accurate using air arms fields. So we'll do a bit of a voiceover, it's just going to be Tom shooting today, um, I had a bit of a skiing accident, uh, let's get on with it. Oh that really hurt. So this is my view for most of the night, looking through the night fox. Uh, 110R. I had a bit of trouble recording with it because it records in AIV format but never mind this is me showing uh, video in through the actual lens with my camera. You see there's a few rats dotted about so Tom gets straight on it. Uh, he hits that one I'm pretty sure it goes under and dies. Very similar shot there. So that one was dead, the flicking around was just the headshot, he kicked himself out onto the concrete. See there's quite a few rats underneath these cattle troughs. I was also using the Eagle Vision Night Sight Tube Adapter. This replaces the rubber tube that comes with the Night Sight, just holds it on the back of the scope so much better. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the description, along with a link to Masood's website where you can buy one of your own adapters. That's a beautiful shot there, that rat just rolled straight over with a heart shot. Tom's being very precise, going for headshots and heart shots only. They seem to do the job best, of course. And there's the Night Fox 110R, which is the unit I was using for the whole shoot. Well, this was a long 45 yarder that uh, Tom took. As you can see, pinpoint accuracy. That one was probably about 25 yards, bang on zero. So no messing around. This one's been a bit of a cannibal and eating its fallen comrade. The HW100 today has been absolutely spot on. Hasn't missed a beat really. We've missed a, a, I don't know how many shots we've missed, probably three or four. But all in all, it really has been just quality. And having the 14 shot magazine as well. Uh, we are going to pack it up now. I think we've probably had about, I don't know, 20, 25 rats. Um, you kind of lose count. It's been a great night. The night foxes have worked fantastically. I'm going to do a, a different review as well on the channel, just uh, just to go over the specs and things and, and how to use it. But yeah, it's been a great night. Getting a bit cold now. Uh, time to go home. So pretty much all of these misses are explainable. Um, this one, however, isn't. I'm not quite sure what happened here. Maybe it was a bad pellet or we got the range a bit wrong. Perhaps it was a bit closer than we thought. But that one got away. Now this one moves just at the last second, um, which was just unfortunate. But when you're taking this many shots, it happens. Now here, Tom wasn't sure on where to aim. So being so close, he thought to aim below. However, that was the wrong decision. You meant to aim a little bit above because the pellet hasn't had time to reach the centre of the crosshair. But the same rat comes out again, adjusts his aim point and drops him cleanly. That's about it. Thanks very much for watching. So it was a bit of a short one. Uh, see you at the next one.